What's up you guys? Uh, today I wanted to show you my favorite Android apps that I use every day and uh, that I would not like my phone without. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to hop right into it. My first app is Android Assistant. I've done a video on this before, I believe. And uh, there's only one feature I really use it for, and that's that little quick boost button right there. So basically all that does is it uh, clears up a bunch of running apps and frees up your RAM, which of course is going to uh, give you a lot more uh, efficiency and a lot more speed on your phone. And then, of course, you can volume control, you can change your uh, ringer options, and fuck. Uh, battery, uh, battery, I don't know what that last word is. I don't use this app enough. Oh, I don't know what I just clicked. Oh, yeah, it's a battery saver and all that good stuff. Let's see. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so uh, you have all these options right here. Batch install, you can install a bunch of ass off your SD card. Uh, system clean, file manager, startup manager, and all that good stuff. You can read it yourself. I don't know if I like reading all that. And, uh, yeah, it's like one of my favorite apps. So, my favorite thing. I don't know if you're going to the app. You just add the widget to your home screen for a quick boost. And every time I turn on my phone, I'll just click that and speed things up a bit. Uh, okay, let's go to my next favorite app. My next favorite app is Fast Burst Camera. Uh, I have the light version, and I'm not going to be able to demonstrate it to you because I am recording this from my computer since I don't know where my camera is. But basically what it is is you just hold down this little shutter button right there, and uh, you can take continuous pictures if that makes any sense. It's like, so like if your dog's running across the backyard, you don't have to wait for it to focus. It's just going to take, you can just hold it down and take like 50 pictures at once and then choose your favorite one out of all of them and so you don't miss that perfect uh, opportunity for a picture and you don't have to wait for it to focus or anything it's just gonna take a, a shit ton of pictures at once so uh... my next favorite app is my favorite app of all time uh... smart status bar <coughs> uh... basically all this lets you do is use your, full, uh, use your status bar on a full screen app simplest thing ever created but sheer genius not bad, is there drink my Arizona tea? Uh, so yeah, it just lets you use your <laughs> status bar on a full screen app. All you do is uh, hold like hold your finger at the top of the screen and swipe down and you'll feel a little vibration in your status bar will appear and uh, it'll stay there for about five seconds. You can look at a text or whatever and make sure it doesn't just say LOL so you don't have to back out of an app to go read LOL. So uh, it saves you having to back out of an app to read what you just got in your notification bar. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. I'm gonna hop into Fruit Shoot. So uh, basically, all you do is put your finger right here. My mouse is my finger in this demonstration. You swipe down, and then boom! It's not this laggy either. It's just my recording that's making everything laggy. So uh, yeah. So let me show you this. Go to the top of your screen, swipe down, and then bam! Woo! -hoo. Yeah. So that's what it does, and it lets you. Uh, it's gonna orientate whether the app is like. Uh, vertical or horizontal or whatever landscape or portrait there you go so uh, yeah it's not always like on that side next let's see what we got Chainfire 3D uh, I haven't set this up yet and it does require a reboot so I'll tell you what it does it does require a root and allows you to uh, like trick your phone into thinking it's a, uh, in a Tegra 2 phone or a Qualcomm phone or uh, things like that and it just lets you uh, adjust te textures in games to make them run better and all that good stuff. It's really helpful if you, uh, you need to download an app that's not optimized for your phone or your app's not running very well and uh, yeah. So uh, RAM Manager Pro is about two dollars on the Android market. They have a free version but it doesn't really function like you need it to function because you only get this option for balance and that's pretty much it. So basically what this does is just you have all these little profiles right here and it you can uh, click one and it optimizes your RAM for that option which of course is going to help uh, make your phone a lot faster. It does require root a lot of these apps I'm showing you do. So basically you have a balance option which is just going to make it optimized for everyday use. Uh, you have a balance for more free memory so that you're going to have more free memory to put these uh, apps into. You're going to have balance for more multitasking if you run a lot of apps uh, or not a lot of apps, a, a fair decent amount of apps. You're going to have a hard gaming option so if you're running like GTA 3 you could run hard gaming and it's gonna push that RAM for GTA 3 and use uh... yeah oh fuck my phone turned off alright oh, let's click that back on alright there you go so uh... if that makes any sense it's gonna use it's gonna optimize the RAM for that game it's gonna put all the RAM power into that game 
then you have hard gaming less aggressive so if you just want to make angry birds run a little bit better or something like that uh, that'll be the option for you they have hard multitasking which is like the uh, more uh, balance for more multitasking but if you run a crap ton of apps you have the default for Samsung and Nexus S because you know that's the kind of phone the developer had and he just put that in because he could and he can make sure it worked and then you have default for your uh, default phone settings and then at the bottom you give, he just added uh, recently added some little extra stuff for lock launcher and memory which is going to help uh, prevent the launcher from restarting the VM heap size and this does adjust your build.prop uh, which can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing uh, get your memory info and your charging limits so let's click memory info all that good stuff shows you how much memory you have and how much memory you have overall and all that good shit alright so next let's go see what else we got um, yeah so my next one is titanium backup if you're a root user you have this app so I don't even know why I'm showing it but it might convince you to root which would be pretty cool so basically what this does it'll, is it lets you back up all your apps at one time and back up all the data for that app which basically means if you have like uh, angry birds and you have like all the levels unlocked and you don't want to lose that you can back it up so if you flash a new ROM you'll still have all that data with you and uh, if you buy the full version it does give you some more options I'm not going to go into all that this is a really detailed app you have a bunch of shit in the menu and all that good stuff but I'm just going to show you a real basic thing so let's say fuck oh no stop being homosexual alright there you go so if you click let's say I don't want gmail you can either run the app right here you can back it up and back up all the data or you don't have to back up the data you can freeze the app and that again is only available in the uh, donate version you can uninstall the app and I'll get back to that in a sec or you can wipe the data which is pretty self explanatory so the uninstall function uh, it's available in the free version is you can uninstall system apps as well if you don't know, know what that means if you can't uninstall your AT&T shit on your phone basically this will let you and uh, you have to be careful with, you, with what you uninstall so if you uninstall your stock launcher you don't have another launcher you're fucked but uh, yeah so it's really helpful I love taking out all that crap that I don't need and also if you have a ROM that comes with apps you don't want you can of course uh, take that out so those are my favorite apps so let me show you one more actually uh, I'm not gonna go into it because I don't have to hide some stuff from you but I've done a video on it before uh, it's called WebKey and my last video for remotely controlling your Android phone uses this and this is what I'm recording with and the lag right now is not very convincing for it being a good app so let me undo that really quick there you go alright so if you go into WebKey it allows you to connect to your phone through your browser and uh, show you this screen that you're seeing right now uh, me controlling my phone with my mouse you can do that through your browser uh, which is really cool I don't like recording with it but I don't know where my camera is and it uh, you can text people you have a little text option right here uh, you can go to your GPS your SMS uh, call list net notified terminal they have a uh, terminal emulator export you can go to your files your SD card and all that good stuff it's really fuel, fuel featured it's full featured and uh, yeah, I highly recommend it if you're a root user. So these are my favorite Android apps, and I use these every day. And uh, so if you have any questions about them, just let me know. Or if you need help uh, using one of them or anything, just let me know. And these are my favorite apps. And if you like this, you can like the video. You can subscribe, you can comment, or you don't have to. I don't really care. But whatever you want to do. So, uh, yeah, peace out.